I'm Tanya, and I'm here at the Oakville Sewing and Learning Center um, in Oakville, Ontario. I'm trying to remember all the things Michael says. Um, I am the Parts, Notions, and Accessories Coordinator with Genome Canada. I started out as an artisan um, quite a while ago, and then I went to become an educator for a short time, and then started in Parts, Notions, and Accessories. It's been a uh, learning curve for sure there's so much to learn and I learned so much from Michael and everybody else that I work with like Celine and Amanda and everybody it's it's great so what I wanted to do today was say hi so hi uh, I'm Tanya I'm in Michael's studio I'm doing things don't look um, I'll clean it up Michael I swear <laughs> it'll be fine it'll be fine when you uh, when you come back so I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I use um, what I'm hoping to do, um, we've, we are going to have a segment called Sewing with Ginger Q, being me, on Saturdays at 2 um, to kind of go through some projects in real time. But for today, I'm just going to go over some of the things I make and some products I use. And if you have any questions, let me know. So I'm going to flip this back around. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. It's very hard to do it on your own. I'm going to flip this back around and show you some of the things that I like to use. And of course the sun is very bright and I probably should have closed that because it's giving me a little bit of a glare, but it's probably nice for you guys. You can see my shirt there. So, hello. So these are a few, I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I like to use. I call it, these are a few of my favorite things, kind of like Sound of Music, but I won't sing for you because nobody needs that. Um, <laughs> ask my kids, no singing. So, I tend to, make small quick projects. I like to see how things work out. This was one of the first ones that I made about a year ago and what it was was I was doing a drawing and I uh, found, I drew or I painted a can of chickpeas and then of course as is always my default the first thing I think is what's it gonna look like in fabric so I made a fabric can of chickpeas which I actually took to a grocery store and took a picture in front of the Unico chickpeas. Also sent it to Unico. They sent me coupons for free products. So it was pretty cool. So things like that, I do that. I, I also did a, a little sugar, Red Path sugar that's in Canada. It's in Toronto. And recently I did a little diced tomatoes, no name. And these are just a few. Elmer, this is based on a vintage can. So the reason I'm showing you these things is you're like, yay, why are you telling me? Um, I wanted to kind of show you how I sew. So I'm not a, I started quilting, I'm not a traditional quilter, but I use a lot of the products that we have at Genomi to make these things, obviously. So I wanted to show you what a few of the things were. That is them. Oh, and I'm dropping things on the floor, but you can't see that. So to begin, you always need good thread. Somebody says, oh, thanks, Sandra. <laughs> um, so what I've been, I tend to use mostly cotton thread just because that's what I like to use. These are Michael's, brand new. I don't even know if I can get them open. No, I can't. I tend to use in, uh, working cotton. So we have Madeira Katona, which is really awesome. This one comes, aha, you can see it this way, with the variegated, uh, also called multicolor. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of multicolor variegated threads for the longest time until I tried them out. So I encourage you, if you haven't tried them, give them a try. We also have the solids as well. We have a, a lot of Madeira thread, um, all different kinds. We have cotton, we have poly, we have all the like, different ones for sergers and different ones, um, Aeroflock, which is the fluffy thread. So if you ever have any questions about thread, you can ask us or you can ask your dealer. We have lots of things and I've used all this. I've even right now behind me, I'm stitching out with on our 550 um, an embroidery and I'm using the cotton because I like the way cotton looks in a machine embroidery. Not everybody does. Most people use uh, poly, but I want to try it out, see how it works. Let's see if there's any questions. Food is art. Definitely food is also love, Sandra. <laughs> so those are the threads that I like to use. I love to use all the threads we have. One thing I also use a lot of, this one's empty, is... Uh, artistic tack and the reason I started using this is because um, to put your sound to put your things together like for example 
with that. To do the sandwiching before you put it together, I wasn't originally adhering it down with anything. I was just kind of winging it, as a friend of mine calls me a quick and dirty quilter. Um, so when I when we got this product in, I saw people using it, and I thought, I wonder. I wonder if this is going to be something I'll like. Is it going to gub up my needle? Is it going to affect how I sew? It's been really great. It doesn't take very much to use, like just a little spray. I do it between all the layers because I tend to, these are usually just like a quilt. So there's a backing, batting top. Use this. I love it. Works great and keeps everything nice and flat and stops things from shifting. Because sometimes when you start to sew, it'll move and you don't want it to move around so much. So I highly recommend that. Get yourself a full one, not an empty one. This is our prop. Uh, the other thing I like to use is our Madeira stabilizers. And the reason why I started using these is I started using them in projects. I don't have one here with me, unfortunately, but I started using them for an extra layer because what I'm doing as I sew is I'm going from strictly something quilted like, oops, like this to something where I'm drawing more with the, with the thread. And I found I needed an extra layer of something to give a little more body to it. So I started using this stabilizer. We have a lot of Madeira stabilizers. Again, your dealer has all of them or can get access to all of them. Um, and I started with this one. You can get a sample pack, which as I think, I don't see it here. <laughs> Just around to look. You can get a sample pack. I highly, highly recommend it because it's got, I think, eight, 12 different types, all the types we carry in a big piece of each one. So you are able to try it out. So if you want to get the stabilizer sampler pack, I recommend it. Once you figure out which stabilizer you like the best, then we get these, I think they call them clamshells, and you can get a lot more, as you can see. So this is one that I've been using, really liked it. The other thing I use a lot of, well, are, don't we all, scissors. Um, this is our scissor box, scissor kit, I guess. Um, uh, Celine showed it when we did our Instagram a while ago. These are awesome. I would love <laughs> one day to have a big pair of dress, uh, dressmaker shears because when I cut these things out, like the tomato, I cut that freehand. I don't cut it on an artistic edge or anything like that. I just cut it with scissors and it works. I like, you have to have the sharpest scissors you possibly can. So if you do, that's one way to get them. And the new ones that we have, or new-ish, are the mini duckling scissors. They have been dispensable once I, these are not, these are just ones that are here, but the ones I have at home, I use constantly. Um, they're just great for snipping. I tend to <laughs> work a little quickly. So I am, am someone who would accidentally snip a hole in the surface of my quilted project or my fabric project. So these help me to trim things out because I love to trim threads as I go because I believe the more you do that, the better product you're going to get or the better results you're going to get. Um, these have been indispensable. We have lots in stock because I just checked and I highly recommend them. So if you want to treat yourself to something, I would ask your dealer if you could, if they have the mini duckling scissors. The other thing that I love <laughs> are uh, our Genomi bobbins. Our Genomi bobbins come in just the clear. Um, they also come in blue, pink, and these red ones, which are honestly like rubies. They are just amazing. I know some people are a lot more organized than I am and would probably, you know, use the pink ones for this kind of thread and the blue ones for a different kind of thread. It's not, I'm not, I don't pay that much attention, but if you did, it would be great. The red ones we have, fabulous. They work great and they're also pretty, which is very important to me. So I've got the, those and now I'm just going to move this out of the way for a sec. The other thing we've got are these. Now these are part of a line by So Comfortable. The reason I'm showing these is because in the other projects that I just showed you, I wasn't doing a lot of free motion quilting. And then what I started to do was when I was making, like, say, for example, the, let's just grab, we'll grab the 
I was thinking of redoing this. I was thinking of redoing a few of them with more thread work because I'm also an illustrator, so it's like drawing with thread. So what I started doing is playing around with free motion. And I found that we had, well, <laughs> I should know this because I'm parts of those accessories, that we have these amazing accessories for free motioning. Now, I don't use, traditionally, I don't use gloves. It's the same as with gardening. I can't stand having anything on my hands, so I'm not a big glove person. But these... I'm going to give a shot because they're little palm paddles. They sit in your hand and then they grip the fabric. There is also these, this kind, which is a quilting paddle set. So the two of them will come and sit um, together. So for a larger project and for an even larger project, you have these hoops. I'm really excited to try because again, when I'm trying to do some of the free motion, I need the, you need the stability. Like holding it with your hands, what happens is I found my hands get really cramped. So I'm going to try all these. I will update you guys at some time on uh, on our account on how I found these to go. I might even do a little video just to show you what I what I got, how I tried them, and see if you guys have any questions. So those are part of our so comfortable line and our free motion. So that's those. Now, what else can I show you? I'm going probably really quick, but we also have these daylight. We have daylight lamps, which as a hack, if you are doing any filming right now and you are, you need um, some light, some natural light, not this amazing natural light we have today, but you need more light wherever you're taping. Ring lights are hard to come by now, or not hard to come by, but they're in high demand. What you could get is a daylight lamp, and you could use it for your sewing. Plus, you can face it towards yourself when you're doing, if you're doing Instagram Lives, or if you're doing teaching, or Zoom, or anything, meetings. They're dual purpose, so you're going to be using it for your projects, plus for your your Zoom meetings and all those kind of things. These are the light boxes. Now... This is the one I have at home. It's a small one. It works awesome. It's much better. When I was making things like this, <laughs> I was drawing it old school with a pencil and a piece of paper, taping it to a window and trying to trace the pieces. That is rough. It's not super easy to do. When I figured out that there were light boxes, total game changer for me. I love them. We have smaller one. We have this one which is larger and it's got a cutting mat with it and then we have this one which is oh I turned it on by accident absolutely huge I don't know the exact how it is this it looks like it's like 18 inches by almost 24 it's huge I want this one <laughs> because you could do so much more with a light box like this so we have light boxes here I don't know if you know that we do I don't know if your dealers for sure know, but we do. And if they want to email me or if you want to email me, I'll let you know about those. So I think that is all that I have to share. I shared the thread. I shared our artistic tack. Whoops. Our Madeira stable. So Madeira threads, Madeira stabilizer are, I'm trying to get this all in, bobbins. Our scissors, as well as our mini ducklings, plus our light boxes, and our so comfortable line. So those are the few of the things that I use um, when I'm making my projects. It's so much. It's, it's so much more interesting when you're when you're making things and you use these tools because, like I said, I tend to do things really quick and not think a lot before I do it. When you have good tools, it makes the product so much better and easier and, and you're happier with the result. So these are just a few of my favorite things at Janome. My other favorite thing is Michael, he's not here. Um, and Eva and Amanda and everybody that I work with and Celine. Um, so I just wanted to show you a few of these things. Say hi. I'll flip this back around. I hope I don't blind you with the sun. I will try to just, there we go. So I just want to show you a few things that I use when I create. Um, oh, Celine's got a question. Will you be teaching how to make some of the projects you showed? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to read these. Um, 
I wish you could order directly from Janome. We're working on that. Um, we're working on trying to get these things to you. Um, a lot of these things, like I said, once you see us use them, you're like, oh, I'd love to try that, and we'd love to get them to you. So we are working on that. Um, I can see what else she says. Maybe if if I could, I can't screech. Uh, if you could send me the message directly in a at uh, on our account, then I can answer it because I can't really read it all here in the sun. Plus, there's a lot of words. <laughs> so, anyway, it's Tanya. I showed you a few of my favorite things. Um, I would like to teach small projects. If you're interested in something like that, I would really enjoy um, showing you how I make things and helping you to sew some more things too. So we have Sandra who says, we would like to learn our techniques. Excellent. I would, I, what I was thinking was, I might start with this one. In Canada, we have no name. Don't get me started on grocery stores because I love grocery stores and food packaging, love food packaging. Um, this is, our no name, our no name brands at um, No Frills in Canada, all are yellow with just really good graphics. My idea was, and tell me if somebody would be interested, is I would ask each person to pick. Um, well, I'd start with showing them how. I'd also like to sh to be able to encourage you to make for your kitchen or your house a canned good that means something to you, because all these things. Um, they bring up memories and food always brings up memories. So, and I'm big, like I said, I won't get on a tangent about what I believe about creativity, but I would love to share this process with you and show you all things that I have at Janome that allow me to get the best possible result when I'm making things. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. It's super sunny here. I'm kind of warm in the sun, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to enjoy my lunch now. And I hope everybody is having a really wonderful day. And thanks for coming and saying hi. And I'll see you guys all later. Now I have to remember to turn this off, which is like so. And goodbye. <laughs>